these sips and strokes classes where you get a bottle of wine and you go and paint with friends, I feel like there's been a great revival in people wanting to paint just for fun, not for perfection, which I think is great. So I thought I'd do a series of painting tutorials of my favorite subject, abstract floral arrangements, and this way you can do one of these parties at home with your friends. Great, right? Here's a list of things you'll need. Stretched canvases, several colors of acrylic paint, different sizes of paintbrushes, and a set of oil pastels. Real quick, I just wanted to go over some basic shapes for your leaves and flowers. They don't necessarily have to be realistic, but they can certainly draw inspiration from flora you'd find in nature. So I'm adding straight diagonal lines, and then I also like to create twiggy pieces with horizontal lines. And these are just a few shapes you can make. I also really like to incorporate fruits into my floral arrangements, so here I'm making some cute kumquats. Another favorite flower of mine is the echinacea flower, um, also known as a cone flower, and those are really fun to draw. And then here I'm just drawing some spiky petals that make a really great outline on top of splotchy painted flowers. Got some tulips. And last but not least, vessels. Um, vases are a really fun way to add detail and whimsy to a piece. I like making fun takes on ginger jars, adding fun stripes and patterns. Adds a lot of interest to your finished painting. This is also a great opportunity to add shading and dimension to a piece. And then you're ready to build your floral arrangement. So I add in some leaves and then scribble on a couple of flowers and then you can just build it from there. Start by applying and blending two light colors with a large paintbrush. These are my favorite colors. I like using a light lilac to start. And then allow this layer to dry. If you're impatient like me, you can certainly use a hair dryer to dry layers. Once my canvas is dry, I'm going to start sketching in my face with a soft oil pastel, adding in nice details, and this kind of gives me an idea of what shapes I'm going to be filling in later. I'm going to start building my arrangement with some leaves, then I'm going to rough in the shapes of the fruits and the flowers that I'm going to be painting. Once your arrangement is pretty much sketched out, you're ready to start applying color to your canvas. So I'm going to start with the fruits and then the leaves. And apply kind of a thick coat. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're going to go back later and define all of these shapes with the oil pastel. So just rough it in. Make sure this layer of paint is dry before moving on to the next step. We don't want our paint to scratch off. Coordinating color pastel, in this case I'm using just a darker color brown, you're going to want to add in the details of your painting. I'm outlining the flowers, outlining the leaves and the fruits, adding details to the vase, and all of this kind of brings it all together. You can add pops of different color. I like to use really contrasting shades when I'm outlining my petals and my leaves. Oil pastels are a great way to add in stems, nice twiggy accents in the back. Use a really small paintbrush to get those really nice small details. After outlining with an oil pastel, I like to go back in with a little bit of a lighter color and give all of my shapes a little bit more of a contrast. Clean up any edges and add in any final details on any leaves before your paint is finished. When you're content with your finished canvas, be sure to protect your work with a spray of a clear sealer. And you're finished! Super easy, right? I'll be giving away the painting I finished today to one lucky subscriber, so be sure to click subscribe below for more crafting tutorials and DIYs. And be sure to check out my blog, Instagram, and shop for
for more crafty goodness.